This is the back of the front house. And then we come back here. This is the ground floor of the back house. Both of them are two story. Piles, piles, piles. You've seen us do it before. It's one of the most important parts of getting a foundation, driving down to good ground. We've driven a bunch on this site and next job we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them off. We're gonna finish prepping base course. Then we're gonna build up slabs. We've got block wall foundation to go in the corner there. We actually worked with the engineer to change this one from drilled and filled, like we did on the Pempsey Street job. To driven, like you've seen us do in a number of jobs. One of the reasons we did that is this site is quite muddy and boggy. Probably the reason why we need to drive down to good ground. Because it was so muddy and boggy, we worried about all the drilling, all the holes we drill getting filled with crap and collapsing. I've learned with drilling and filling that you need to do it when it's dry and you need to kind of do it in bits and pieces. You know, only drill what you can fill within kind of a week period. Otherwise, it just drags out and all your holes get filled with crap. I remember on the section nobody wanted, I was like, I'm never drilling holes like this again. I'm out here slaving away. The thing is, I, um, I have to. I've got these holes and they've been checked by the engineer and we need to get them filled. So working with the engineer, we came up with a new and alternative plan where we were able to drive piles. We can move on to the next phase of foundations reasonably quick. Yeah, it simplifies the process. The thing is on the section nobody wanted, I couldn't get in a pile driver because of the slope and access and a number of things like that. So it just shows you like different sites, different approaches. You've got to be flexible, adaptable, but we're always working to find out that sweet spot of like what's the best approach, what's going to be the most cost effective, what's the path of least resistance to getting us towards the end goal. We're working with the designer and the engineer to work those things out and basically make it happen on site. That is our job. We make it happen on site. I think there's no hard and fast rule, but it depends on the site, the engineer, how deep you're going, all of those things, and then we'll work out, hey, we think this is the best plan of attack. You know, it's real easy to draw a plan on a piece of paper, but when you've got to make it happen on site, there's got to be a real good relationship between the engineer and the architect and the builder, and there's got to be some flexibility and adaptability between those three to kind of work out a plan. We're real excited to get into the next phase of building on the site where it turns from a big muddy hill to a building site. Concrete Down well and truly recognises that. We're marching on, it'll be a couple more weeks before we get there. Let's chuck a drone up 